everyone, it's Issa. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be rehoming my Stacy collection and setting up their own A5 binder. So I thought I would go through this process since I know that A5 binders are sort of in trend now, especially for smaller collections. It's actually really convenient. If I just didn't have a huge collection that took up so much space, I would love to move all of my stuff into A5 binders. However, it's just not possible for me to do that. So I wanted to try and do it with some groups that I have smaller collections of as opposed to my bigger collections like Twice or Blackpink. So I thought I would take the time to do this for Stacy. So funnily enough, I purchased this last week and just a few days ago, Stacy announced that they were doing a Statum merchandise drop, which included an A5 photo card binder. And I did end up purchasing that one. However, I feel like I'm gonna run out of space in that one really quick. So I'm going to end up with more than one binder for Stacy either way. And so I decided that I would still be using this binder for them despite having an official binder on the way. So today I'll be going through the process of how I set up some of my photo card binders, this being an A5 edition, and I'm super excited to rehome my photo cards. So let's get started. All right, so to build my binder, these are the materials that I'm going to be using today. I have an A5 binder, this one is purple, and a zipper binder. I have two kinds of sleeves, both under the brand Sultan. One that is 57.5 by 89 millimeters, and another that is 56.87 millimeters. So normally in regular photo card sleeves, you can fit the standard size. However, some A5 binder sleeves only fit smaller kinds of sleeves. So I went ahead and purchased these since I don't really have any other smaller sleeves than the standard size. And I think they're gonna fit perfectly in the sleeves that I got. I also have an assortment of sleeves here. Down there, there is a binder cover, which I made. I have 30 sheets of four pocket pages, and then I have 10 sheets of Beyond D one pocket pages for bigger inclusions. All right, so this is my binder. It's actually just generic. There's no brand to it since I don't really care about the brand of my binder. However, if you want a branded one, there is a binder that has a similar design to this under the brand of Second Mansion. So if you wanna go get that, you can check that out. But this one is just generic since I don't really care. It's just a binder and I'll probably grow out of it in a few months. So I went ahead and purchased this one. This is it opened up and we're gonna go ahead and fill it in with some pages. So for my cover page, I will be using this. This is a binder cover that I made out of an official Statum album. I made one for every member and I made an OT6 one for myself. This was made using the official album since it had so many extra copies from the fan signs and I made this little thing out of it. Put that in there. And then it's time to put in the pocket pages. All right, so these pages are actually just generic, again, not branded, but they're actually pretty good and they are not double-sided. However, if you would like double-sided four pocket pages for A5 binders, then I suggest the Beyond D brand. Beyond D is actually pretty popular for their A5 inserts. I think they were one of the first companies to be based around A5 materials. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's all I know. However, they're pretty popular in Korea for binder materials. I just opted for these ones since I don't really like putting my photo cards back to back when they're in clear sleeves anyway. And these were a much cheaper alternative, so I ended up purchasing these ones. So we're not gonna be putting in the photo cards yet as I haven't been able to put my postcard pages in yet. I will first be measuring out the slots that I need so I can insert the postcard pages before we go into actually putting the photo cards in. So Stacy have two albums so far. Star to a Young Culture and Statum, and I will be splitting my binder into three parts. One for my OT6 Star to a Young Culture collection, one for my Statum collection, and at the very end, my collection of non-album or pre-order benefit ISA cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix up So Bad first. So these are all of my so bad cards. These are all that I have as of right now. So the first page has no one in it yet because Sumin and Sian are still on the way. However, for the second page, I'll just put those in randomly for now. We have the Macne line. And so here I will insert one page for postcards to put the album postcard in. So 
So as you can see here, the postcard page is a little bit bigger than the normal page. Now I'm not sure if that would be the same for a Beyondi. Maybe it's because it's a different brand. However, it doesn't really stand out too much and so I'm fine with it. And then again for Statum, I'll be picking out three pages and putting in three postcard pages since the girls have six postcards for this album and I'm planning to put them back to back. I like to put bigger inclusions like postcards in little binders back to back since there's such little space in these binders as well as the materials are sort of expensive but it's fine with me. I don't know if it's fine with you but personally I'm okay with doing it that way. So that's what we're gonna do. So like I said, I don't have the complete collection here yet, but for these cards, I will be using the Sultan 56 by 87 millimeter sleeves to fit into these smaller pages. So right now, this Isa card is in a standard sleeve and as you can see, it fits. However, it's sort of struggling to get in, which is why I thought purchasing smaller sleeves would be a good idea for this. So as you can see here, this fits a standard size photo card pretty well. It's pretty snug. It's exactly the same. It fits it exactly. So if you'd like something a little bigger, then you might have to pick a different size. But for me, it's personally fine. So I have two examples of sleeving over here. This one is single sleeved and this one is double sleeved. The only difference is basically that you put a bigger sleeve onto this one and putting it into these pages specifically, again, they sort of have a hard time. So I'm gonna be using just the single sleeves for this binder. So I'm gonna skip the first page since my uni line hasn't arrived yet, but then we're gonna go in to Isa. So let's put the darker background in first. So as you can see here, the sleeves fit perfectly. There's only a little bit of extra space. Now some other people would like to use a bigger sleeve just to make it fit more snug. However, I think this is fine with me seeing as there isn't really much space to move anyway. I doubt it will be moving a lot. And then lastly, for our Macme line, we have Yoon. And then last but not least, we do have J. All right, so these are my first two pages. I personally think they're super cute. And for the postcard page that I put out here, I will be putting in this album postcard. So this pocket page is actually back to back and that's something that Beyond D is known for. Like I said, their four pocket pages are back to back. So it's pretty cool. That's why I'm gonna be doing this for my album photo cards. I would like to put the strip here. However, I don't like having the back shown. So I think for now, this one side is good and maybe I'll just find another spot for this next time. All right, and now for Statum, I actually have 20 sheets of photo card pages in here right now, but that's way too much. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put Statum in. So for Statum, I currently only have a few cards since I'm still waiting for a bunch of albums to arrive from Make Star. And so I'll just be putting in what I have now. 
So for my uni line, I do have a zoom in here. And then my next eldest is Isa. And then my next eldest is Yoon. Such pretty cards. And lastly, we have our Macne J. So unlike So Bad, all the backs are quite different. So I'm not actually sure which set belongs to which, but I'm just gonna guess around, I guess, for this one. So anyway, I'll be putting in Suman first. So pretty. And that is it for my first page. And for my second page, I have Isa. I'll be putting in her beret photo card first. And then I will be putting in her long hair card, which is probably my favorite Isa card. And lastly, we have our Macne line. So I'll put in Yoon sunglasses first. And then her hat photo card. And lastly, we have Jay with pretty similar cards, just in a different outfit. But I'll still be putting in her black outfit first, then her green outfit. All right. And now it's time for the postcards. So as you can see here, Yoon moved a little bit. Doesn't annoy me very much, so that's fine. So we have Zoom in. Now we get to test out how good this back-to-back -back sleeve is because we actually have to put them back-to-back. -back. I don't have Sion, And then we're gonna put in Isa here. Down the other side, I'm going to try and match them up as close as possible. And last but not least, we have Jay. All right, so next I have some Make Star One holographic cards here. And we will also be adding this Sion Make Star that I just got in the mail today. So I'm currently trying to complete this set and I'm still missing Sion and Yoon. So good luck to me. But my plan for this is to put Make Star One here in the first row and then Make Star Two in the second row when they arrive. So for this page, we have Zoom In. And for this second row, we have Sion. So I have my unis for the first page of Make Star One. So for this page, it's only gonna be Isa. And for the last page, it's just going to be Jay. 
So now I have a bunch of other pages here at the back. So for the remaining pages, I will be using them to put in my ISA pre-order benefit card collection. However, I'm not in the mood to make placeholders right now. Anyway, it's not really specific to A5 binders making placeholders. So I don't think I have to show you guys everything. I have a bunch of her pre-order photo cards on the way, but as of right now, I don't have a final list of everything I'm gonna be collecting. There's a lot of tentative ones, a lot of ones that I'm still seeing if I'll be able to get. So I'm not gonna be putting in placeholders for them right now. I'm just gonna be putting what I have in for now. So I have her Make Star So Bad photo card. That will be in the first row. And then I have another copy of her Make Star One card. And then here we have her with a drama hollow photo card. And we're just gonna sleeve that. So let's put these ones in. I'm gonna put the withdrama one in here. And then the make star one. So I do have a bunch of other cards, like I said, that are coming in. So when I get those, I might revamp this part a little bit. But for now, since I only have the three on hand with me, I think this is good. So this is the binder when it's closed up. Sometimes I like to have a little keyring dangling down here at the side. I actually have one for my Hendry binder, but as of right now, I can't really find any that match Stacy, so they don't really have a keyring for now. And to finish up this setting up an A5 binder video, I want to go through my collection really quick. So this is the cover that I made. So you have our empty first page. You have our second page. Last page of So Bad and the postcard. Then we start with Statum. Postcards. Oh, this page is holding up nicely. Then make Star Hollow photo cards. And our last page of ISA Broder Benefit photo cards. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. If you'd like to see more binder videos, and I can definitely do that for you, just let me know. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!